Good morning. I want to tell you about a dream that I had last night. Just for fun, you know. And this will be at the end. So you can turn it off if you want. Now, first is, the head of Secret Service in the United States, Kimberly Cheadle, resigned yesterday. That's good. Now we can move on, right? No, seriously, I think this can prove to be very important. If, if good people get together on this thing, they can make something happen. Because they try to kill him. You know, I am sure about this. Others are not that sure. You know, doesn't matter. But I'm sure they tried to kill him. There was an order. Lots of people involved. And they tried and they failed. No. Yeah, they really wanted to kill Trump. And now, if, yeah, like I said, if good people do something with this, if they let this go and just forget about it, then I know, but I don't think so. This can be very, very important for the future. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen in the United States. I see good things happening in the United, in the United States. Something is happening, you know. Yeah, quite exciting. Uh, I also want to tell you this. I was listening to Jeremy Farrar. He's a chief scientist at the WHO. I just want to tell you what he said, right? If you had said to me that six or seven billion people around the world would voluntarily drink tea and come back for a second cup and a third cup, with a technology which had not been widely used before, I would have been amazed. So I think there is challenge and misinformation. I actually believe there is more optimism and actually more trust than sometimes we think from some of the commentary. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I didn't like the guy, of course. <laughs> Uh, and I reacted to the word voluntarily. There was some persuasion going on, right? Even force, you could say. But then I thought about this. If they are going to try it again, I don't know exactly what their purpose was. If it was depopulation solely, or if they wanted to change the DNA of humanity. I don't know. But that first one had to be good, you know. If they want to do this to everybody, it had to be good, the first one. Because the next one, the next time they try this, it will be harder. Of course, you know. A lot of people are now wondering what happened. And they are not so happy. They don't trust so much, you see. So, if you want to try this again, you need to, to use more, much more force. I'm talking like, uh, you know, 12 men wrestling a lady to the ground and injecting her, you know, that kind of force. If you want to try to do it again. So, yeah, what a jerk, this guy. And the smile on his face, this smirk, you know, this, you know. Trust. He's talking about trust. Ah, people trust. You know. Well, so many thought they had to take it. You know. It had nothing to do with trust, really. People were stupid, of course, to take it. You know. But they can get smarter. All right, so now the dream. Maybe you can say something about this. I don't know. But this was the dream. So... Two ladies come to see me, and they bring a 16-year-old Russian girl, 16 years old. And I see her very clearly. She's got uh, short hair, straight, and a straight, quite long nose. And I would recognize her if I saw her today, absolutely. Very clear. This dream was extremely clear, right? So the, the reason they came to see me was to see the spiritual reaction between me and the girl. That was, it was like a test, you see. 
So they sat down and we talked. And it worked fine, you see. Yeah, something happened. Nothing sexual, absolutely nothing sexual or you know, anything like this. It was just a spiritual test, you know. So and then they left and then they came back later and the little girl had a house with her. You know, about this size, white with a red roof. Right? She put the house on the on a table and then she pulled out a deck of cards, right? Tarot cards, right? And she spread them out like this. She put she picked two of them. And the first one she put inside the house, face down. And the other one she put outside the house, face down. Right? And she, then she had this ball, like a crystal ball, size of a tennis ball. You know? And she was holding it in her hand like this. And then after a while the, the ball went up into the air and started to circle like this. And then it started to circle the house. And then it went up again, a, a bit further up. And then it sort of exploded. And not like a bang, you know, it's just like... And there was this very, very bright light. And the test was uh, good, you know. It was a good result. And that was the end of it. Right. <laughs> Be good.